made it to the bottom. Okay. According to your signal, you're at the coordinates. Any sign of our hold? No. Not yet, anyway. You got any pinks from up there? Afraid not. All right. I'll just keep heading downstream. Copy that. Keep me posted. You got it. Hey, by my watch, you're down to a quarter tank. You want to come up? Nah, I'll be fine. Can't be far. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. All right. Hey, I got something here. What is it? No rust, right color. Maybe hit the rocks, tore off before tumbling. Hey, you're mumbling. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it looks like a piece of our wreck. Must be close by. You're teasing me now, Drake. You're teasing me. Ah, there you are. I found it. All right. How's it look? Well, it's beat up, but intact. The axles are in good shape. I'd say we use them to lift the whole thing. Sounds like a plan. All right, here we go. There. Whoa! <laughs> Morning, fellas. All right, I'm in. Uh, looks like a lot of it's still strapped down. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. I'm gonna go round them up. Hold on. How about you come up first, get a fresh tank? Ah, the crate's gotta be nearby. I got this. Ha! <laughs> Found one. Ah, crap. The crate's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what, secure the other crate first, then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Uh, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. Ha! <laughs> Found the other crate. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. One crate secure. Good timing. We're right above you. Sling's on its way down. Coming down. Okay, it's in position. Hook up the trailer. We'll raise it up a bit for you. Okay, got the cable. I'm gonna try looping it around one of the axles. That should work. Yep. All right, that's one. All right, you watch your oxygen now. That's fine. Two. Okay, trailer secure, ready to go. All right, get clear. We'll lift it up. Ready when you are. And up we go. Okay, that enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. Okay, we got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. Come on, come on. 
There you go. Oh boy. All cargo present and accounted for. Yeah, with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> I'd love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. Better now that I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stick like fish for a week. <laughs> All right. We're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang on. What's up, boys? Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. Toss down your gear. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Whoa, this tank's kind of light. I'm just making your job easier, right? Here, uh, I need your signature on this. My man. How'd we do? How do you think? Full recovery? Every last bit. <laughs> Making the rest of us look bad. Making the rest of you look good. So how about you let someone else be point man next time? You've earned a break. No, oh, no thanks. I'll take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's gonna be a while to the next dive. What are you talking about? about Thursday's job? Oh, come on, no. Got underbid. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? Yeah. What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin'. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, 
my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one. He, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours? You get the permits? No, he did not get the permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me. I'm okay? not gonna change my mind. Oh, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me. Okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. You really did your homework on this one. Now down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. <laughs> Yee, one of the stranger things I've collected along the years. your big brother some years back. A Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Look at us. Shambhala. Miss you, pal. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. killed each other for a piece of this. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. <laughs> now this was a crazy ride. Hmm. Another lifetime, Chloe. Really, my style anymore. Yeah. Here they come. Take cover. I'm surrounded. Bullseye. Fly. 
like you need. Right. Take that. Plastic. Back in business. Gotcha. Like a pro. Yeah, bring it. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. So long. That'll teach you. See ya. Haha, <laughs> still got it. Eat plastic. Gotcha. Well, my time's over. We really need to go on another vacation. It's been too long. Oh, is this what you're working on? Wow. Now that is a good one. You were up there a long time. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. And... <laughs> Done. Okay. Finish it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? <laughs> God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm-hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm-hmm. I, uh... I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Hmm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? No, oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently, the natives called it a semi. Oh dear lord! Kind of some, so some, some boring stuff. But tell me about the article. 
Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane. So I kind of took this Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> oh, really? I'm, what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Mm-hmm. Flights in Bangkok that um, are having troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. Wow. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. No, it was Valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? <laughs> I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, uh, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. OK, cowboy. OK, watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning all right. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. Crash <laughs> Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No, no, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack! Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away. Oh! What happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helpful. You. Use your spin attack. But jump, jump! Stop yelling at me. I'm encouraging you, I'm coaching you. Keep going, keep going. Look at Splinter. Watch that jump over the pit. Well, he didn't jump far enough. What's the button for jump farther? Last life. We gotta make it count. Oh, I so close. Not bad, not bad. 
You're going the wrong way. Huh? Run towards the bottom. I know, I know. I just like to explore, you know? Not enough bumper fruit to save that. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, me. Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning you. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in you. real life? What do you think about that? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? <laughs> um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. Oh my God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a god, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He said, Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. Hey, hey, you still with me? I need some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? <laughs> well, how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, 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 slow down. Have a seat. I want to hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. So what's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. <laughs> Jeez, what crazy stories? Got shot, hanging from a derailed train <laughs> in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. All right, you remember the uh, that beautiful astrolabe that I had that belonged to Sir Francis Drake? Oh, yeah, the, the one that, what's her name, stole in Cartagena? Yeah, Marlo. Yeah, Marlo. Well, I tracked it down, and all I had to do was fake my own death. That sounds easy enough. I mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away 
with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring, the engagement ring. I'm married. I can't believe, I, Elena from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner, at my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? It's a funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Not reading the night. Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards, they're singing. Uh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> well, I mean... They have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. Oh. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. <sighs> what will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmento key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. Holy shit. Los demás están en posición. En camino. Todo va de acuerdo al plan, señor. Fantastic. How long have you had this plan? Since the moment I set foot in this place. Samuel, keep up. We're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here. You'll need this. You remember how to use it? Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abran todas las puertas. Hector, you do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Stay close, Sammy. Crazy! 
Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. Oh, you are right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Samuel, take cover. Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready?
Samuel, drink. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm better than good, actually. <laughs> You're dehydrated. Go on, drink. Thank you. So, what's next for Samuel Drake, huh? Mm. Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Mm. Maybe find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? Uh, it's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But, listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very I solid... I least... Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, 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 hey, take it easy. I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is, I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. <laughs> How long? Six months. <laughs> People are lazy. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now. If you run, or try to hide the treasure, or do something really stupid, like go to the authorities, oh no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Here. Come on. Now, the nearest town is 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Vamos. When I find it, then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear this, Samuel. Uh, let's me go and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off and wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. Moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. So whatever's missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Well, you know it. Uh, yeah. 
And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? Yeah. And where are you going to get the money to outbid all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house, and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're going to try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um, I don't know, like, uh, Jeez. anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. You no, know, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got on that phone with my life, okay? I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. <sighs> hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's great. Yeah. I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysia job after all. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. It looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. <laughs> uh, let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. <laughs> it would be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam. He knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, no, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine. Fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Try to keep your tucks clean. <laughs> 